Hello and welcome to my channel, Seasons in My Garden. My name's Dave and it's a windy midweek evening. And what I'm doing, I'm just going to go around checking out all the flowers, the planters, anything really that's uh, in my garden. See if anything needs deadheading or trimming or cutting back. And the reason I do the deadheading is after the rain or wind or temperature change or just because the short life of flowers what happens is you've got to keep on top of them to stop them going to seed and the reason for this is if they go to seed they will stop flowering whereas if you keep on deadheading then what happens is it encourages them to flower more so as you can see these upright petunias semi trailing but mainly upright the few of the flowers have come to an end and all we do is we just deadhead and that'll encourage more flowers to be put on and always feed your summer planters whether it's a pot or a window box a hanging basket Tomato food is an absolute amazing food. So you get all your plant foods, but tomato food you just can't go wrong with. And that'll do great for your planters ones as well. So what we're doing, I'm just going to go back to... See this, it's finished. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to a growth point. The end of the flower. And put my nail through it. Or, if you've got scissors or pruners that's all you do and that will encourage new flower heads to grow and here's another one here don't know whether you can see that let's uh, find where that's coming from and again just go down to the edge of the stem find it feel it with your fingers pinch and there you go now what had happened was that petals would fall off and that would then start turning into seed and we don't want that to happen so what we do is keep on top of your dead head and your plants otherwise you won't get as many flowers and it's only early in the season so you want to keep on top of that maintenance is the key and we bought some more plants let's have a look see what we've got some lobelia that's crying out to be planted so that'll have to get sorted some ivy variegated of course lovely in a planter overhanging what else have we got um, oh here we go not looking the best at the minute but once it's in and settled it'll kick off I got some white geraniums, white petunias, and this stuff is called, I think it's called uh, Lobelia Laguna, trailing white, and it's a giant form of Lobelia from what I can find out. So this is all got to get planted. Might be in this video, might be in an update. As you can see, the hostas are out underneath. Put some lobelia that doing really well as well. And it was my birthday yesterday. I didn't do much. I went the pictures with the little guy to watch a film. And before we did that, I got some more lobelia in the sides of these pots. And as you can see, all the little nodules there are coming off. So trimming them back did them real good. Same with this. And that one is catching up, but it'll get there too. I've redressed these. I've put some Unimus and some lobelia in the top there that's 
That's Tracy of Sundance. That's a top dress as well. And as I stated before, this is a couple of days later. That's all that's left of the unplanted stuff. I found two more planters. And these are going to be white displays. So I've got some ivy. i got some white geraniums. Uh, white fountain lobelia. The large form. And just a touch of purple in there as well with the petunias in the background. And I planted one. And I planted exactly the same in this. So these are about a day or two in now. So once they start kicking in, you won't be able to see the soil. And remember, keep on top of the deadheading. They're going to look nice. Progress on these that were planted a week or so ago. As you can see, they're filling out nicely. Still no flowers. I've got a few, but not as much as I would have... Uh, anticipated right now geraniums out starting to go over the sides yeah they're gonna be nice and the dark corner of the garden underneath the trees they're doing fine as well they're settling in just a short one today guys so thanks for watching Hope to see you in the next one, and uh, happy gardening. Bye for now.